Hmm. Hello guys, my name is Doke and this is a mystery box. A graffiti mystery box which costs 10 euros. And this is exactly what I'll use for today's painting. I've been shopping in my local graffiti store for some background colors. Shout out to Rooftop Shop. And a guy who works in the shop was like, man, you should make a video with these these boxes that we have. And I was like, that's not a good idea, let's do it. I actually bought two of these boxes, but I'll try to use just one. I'll try to make a piece for 10 euros only. The tricky thing about this box is the price. I already know that there is six cans inside, which means that the price for one can is less than two euros. And that's bad, I mean, Cheap things are good, but cheap graffiti cans are hell. If you were ever shopping for graffiti cans, you know that the good ones start around three euros, three and a half euros, at least. This is less than two, so I don't expect anything good. But to be honest, the thing that scares me the most is the fact that I have no idea what colors are inside. If it is a complete nightmare, I'll open the second box too. And so, Let's open it. The moment of truth. truth. Hmm. Okay, first color is brown and the brand is Lack Spray. Sonder Preisware Diverse Farbtone. Mix Uni Non Metallic. Okay, this might be a good outline. The other color that I see is bright red, same brand. Okay, so far, so good. The third one is, ah, brown again. All right, what else? Ah, okay. This is a very nice blue. Okay, okay. Ah, another one with a different cap, which doesn't really fit, but it seems like a, like the same color. And the last one, red, the same reddish color. Okay, this is a lot better than I expected. Nothing inside. Okay, so this is the color combo for today. It's not really eye-catching, it's not really beautiful, but it's not that bad. But you know what? I'll open the second box too, just to see if I made a mistake by choosing that one. I'm just curious. What are you hiding, buddy? Come on. Ha! The same weird spray paint. A bit different the reddish color. All right. I got to say that I picked the better box. So I'll just put this away. Drink a sip of coffee and think about what's what. Okay, this seems like the darkest color that I have. This might be a good fill. This might be good for something too. And I guess that this will be the background. Yay! If you have high expectations of this piece, lose them right now when I see that. Man, this is gonna be so ugly. Let's see if these cans can actually cover something. I picked the white background because I assumed that cheap cans won't have the best opacity. Huh. Let's see. Actually, it's not so bad. Uh huh. Okay. And right now, the moment of truth. Which one is darker, the brown one or the blue one? Based on that, I'll pick the outline color. Whew. Look at that color. 
<laughs> okay, this is a nightmare. This is like so bad. Oh God, look at this. This has to be the lamest color combo ever. Uh, peachy. Sicka sicka sound. Let's procrastinate a little. I want to show you something. Well, maybe if I can get there. Ooh. Ah, check this. Another day in the office, boy. Well, see that? My swamp mural. It's still there. Nice. Because nobody wants to spend time in this beautiful water with dead pigeons. Ah. Anyways, let's do this. Just do it. Okay, KK, KK. First lines won't be a problem. Boom! So far, so good. Because first lines, well, you can do first lines with basically anything. Okay-ish. What else? What's next? How do I make this look nice? All my life I've been waiting for you to bring a fairy tale my way. Uh. This is not gonna be a fairy tale. Uh, All right. Let's try this. What a lovely coverage. Okie dokie, what's next? Uh, if I do just a normal outline. Okay, maybe this is gonna work. First can down. Fortunately, I picked blue as the outline color. And so I have another one.
I still didn't use this brownish color, but I should. This bucket of color was not really in the mystery box, so please excuse a little usage of the color. But I need highlights and I need them fast. Alrighty, guys. This was a lot more fun than I expected. And I believe that the reason why is that I was not looking for good can performance. I didn't try to have a nice solid fill-in without any coverage issues. I just tried to get the most out of these cans and I love it actually. Yeah! And by the way, it was a lot of fun for 10 euros. And I mean, some of these cans are still full. So it was actually less than 10 euros. Nice! Guys, before I show you the final result, two things. First of all, in the latest video, I released new merch. And you sold out 90% of these sweaters in the first 24 hours which is crazy. At this moment, there are just very few small and medium sweaters left. By the time I will release this video, there is a big chance that all of it is gone. But I also released a new t-shirt, which should be still available. And there are also these two prints. So go to doco.com, check it out. And thanks a lot for your support. The second thing that I gotta tell you is that I'm heading for a vacation, yeah! So I won't be releasing any new videos on YouTube for approximately two weeks, but I will be still active on Instagram. So if you are not following me there yet, do it right now. It's highly recommended. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, I love this piece. This is it. Oh my life, I've been waiting for you to bring it. Fairy tale my way Just give me, just give me a try